Hi there. <laughs> For today's video, I do have two cameras going. Hi, camera. Last weekend, I got to see How to Train Your Dragon Hidden World. And for today's video, I really want to do a painting of Toothless. That being said, to make it a bit more challenging, I am going to paint with my non-dominant hand. For me, that is my left hand. So it'll be as good as if I was doing it with this hand. That being said, it'll be more fun. I'm excited to see how this goes. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I have painted left-handed before. Uh, it's been a while though. <laughs> this is a non-spawn. I just, I like how to train your dragon. <laughs> it does have dragons in it. Good. Anyway, let's get started. To start out, I'm going to put some paint on my palette. Oh yeah. It's really cheap craft acrylic paint. It does always look like I put a lot more on the palette than I actually do. The acrylic paint is really running and so it spreads out. Something also to bear in mind, <laughs> I'm having to cover this entire canvas with a few coats of paint. Sometimes people forget that. When putting colors on my palette, I do try to get all the main ones. And so that's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Although you should be able to mix most colors with red, yellow, blue. Uh, I am, I'm not actually a printer. <laughs> Tones and the vibrancies of the pink are the tools that painters work with. Black, I'm probably gonna need more black eventually. <laughs> my plan is to do a very big toothless with a burke-like landscape in the background. I might try to stick his tail in there too, just to get the tail in there. I like his tail. I'm gonna say we start with colored pencil. I might try doing an oil painting with my left hand eventually, but I feel like that'll be very, very difficult. They're hard in the sense of they don't really dry, and so it's very easy to like accidentally lay your hand on it and have it smudge, which tends to be why when I'm working with oil paintings, I work from like the top down <laughs> so I can rest my arms still on the canvas a bit. There we go. This is gonna be like a waterfall here, I think. <laughs> Blue, get some darker blue, gonna mix purple and blue together. The nice thing about the background is I'm making it a bit blurry, blur effect, which is great because it means I don't have to be accurate. <laughs> if you can do a blur effect to the background, it does make the actual subject of the piece look more in focus. I really want to use my hand, <laughs> went to go do it there. Um, I've got okay control with it, I think, but I don't think I have the muscle strength in it that I have in my right arm because it already feels a bit sore, <laughs> like being held up. Because it's a bit more of a challenge, it does make it more fun, so I'm having a lot of fun right now. Open it up. Ah you just don't know if it's going to go right, <laughs> so it's fun. Ah I do have to focus a lot more and like put my shoulders into it, like fingers. It is weird to do stuff like this because like you kind of feel like you have to go back to basics a bit and it's like relearning painting. You have to focus more on what you're blending and why you're blending it. Whereas like right now I've gotten to the point where like you just don't think about it, which is nice in a sense, but it's also fun to think about it. Like why am I putting this color here? What color do I need next? How am I going to blend this?
now we're going to varnish the painting and here we go. Good amount of varnish and we spread it with a brush. This will help bring out the black tones. Hopefully you can already see how it's bringing some more depth to the painting. Yeah, let's see the painting. And here is the finished left-handed painting. And here is my finished left hand toothless painting. It's a painting better than I expected. Not as good as I would have done with right hand, but better than I expected. Whoops! I feel like nerdy but nice. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you'll know that I dressed up Kirito as toothless. about that is he didn't mind wearing the wings but he refused to move in them <laughs> so every time he's in a new location I literally picked him up and then put him there minus when he was like perched on the bed because he did that and then he just stood there again cats I mean dragons dragons are dragons uh, anywho I do have my golden pin giveaway here is the winner from last week if you'd like to win a golden pin please leave a nice comment down below and I'm going to pick one of those comments as my winner for next week. Very cool. Very cool. It's a pen. It's a pen. I, I love that I have like a thing. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you again next week. Bye. 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 Goodbye.